Hi everybody, welcome to Yoga for Self Love with Kim. I'm Kim. This will be about a 30 minute slow flow practice, moderate intensity. So let's begin in child's pose and have knees together or knees wide. And bring your bum back towards your heels. And release your forehead down to the mat or a block or a blanket or make a little pillow with the arms or you could bring your arms back alongside your feet and shins for a relaxed child a few nice deep breaths here Allow yourself to arrive, to let go of where you're coming from, where you're going to next, and just let yourself be present right now with yourself, body, mind, breath, and spirit. And take a moment to check in. Notice how you feel today. Let go of any judgment and just be curious about what's happening for you. And I invite you to bring in the intention to move through your practice today with gentleness, kindness, compassion, love for yourself. If you like, you can slowly begin to rock the hips from side to side. And then bring yourself to center. The arms are alongside your feet and shins. Bring your hands forward. And bring yourself up onto the hands and knees coming into a table position. Rock your hips from side to side. And then bring yourself to center. Extend your right leg back behind you about hip level-ish. Stay here or root into your right fingers and reach forward with the left arm. And then release the hand and the knee down to the mat. Other side, send that left leg back. Root into your left finger pads and reach forward with that right arm. And release. Other side, right leg back. Left arm reaches forward. Stay here or bend that right knee. Draw that foot in towards your bum, reach back with the left hand, pull the foot in, and then press the foot out into your hand. And release. Come back through your cat balance, left arm reaches forward, right leg back, and then release it down to the mat, left leg comes back. Reach forward with that right arm. Stay here or bend that left knee. Draw the foot in towards your bum, reach back with that right hand, pull that foot in and then press it out into your hand. And then release the foot, come back through your cat balance and release. Now kick your right foot out towards the right side of your mat at a little bit of an angle. Reach that right hand up the mat a couple of inches, begin to roll your pelvis open so that left hip stacks up over the right and extend that left leg out. Point the toes forward. So this hip is in a neutral rotation. You can keep the left hand on the hip or reach that arm up. And then left hand comes back down, left knee comes back down. You find your, your way back into your table. Other side, kick that left foot out. Left hand reaches up the mat a little bit. Roll the pelvis open, right hip tracking up over the left, right toes pointing out to the side, right hand to the hip, or reach the arm up. 
And then right hand comes back down, right knee, bring it back into your table. Send the right leg back again. This time bend your knee and draw that knee in towards your nose, chest or forehead. Press into your hands, round up through your back and then step that right foot up to the top of the mat. Press into your feet, lift up, reach the arms up, coming up into our low lunge. Hug that right hip back, left hip forward a little bit, press into the feet. Hands down to the mat, step it back into table. Extend that left leg back, bend that left knee, draw it in, nose, chest, forehead, round up through your back. Step or carry that left foot up to the top of your mat, press into that foot, lift yourself up, arms reach up. Press into the feet, hug in through the inner legs. And then hands down to the mat. Step it back into your table. Right leg back again, hip level. Bend the knee, round in. Step that foot up top of your mat. Press into the feet, lift up into your low lunge. And now we'll take the hands down inside of that right foot. Bend that left knee. Begin to bring that left foot shin over towards the right side of your mat and slowly walk your hands down the long edge of your mat. Bring that left hand down towards the other end of your mat. And then we'll lift up that right leg coming into our half moon, hands and knees in this direction. Right hand can stay on the hip or you reach the arm up. And then slowly bring it down. Right hand comes down, right foot comes down. You slowly walk yourself back up towards the top of your mat. Spin that left foot and shin back in. Right toes point back up towards the top of your mat. Press into the feet, lift up again into your low lunge. And then hands to the mat, step back into your table. Left leg back, bend that left knee. Bring it in, step the left foot up top of the mat, press into the earth, lift up, reach up through the fingers, and then hands come down inside that left foot. Pick up that right foot, kick it over towards the left side of the mat, and begin to slowly walk your hands down towards the other end of the mat. Root into that right hand and lift up that left leg. Left toes pointing out to the side, left hand stays on the hip or reach that left arm up. Half moon, hands and knees, Ardha Chandrasana. And then we'll take it back to the other side of the mat. Left hand comes back down, left foot comes back down. You slowly walk yourself back up towards the top of the mat. Kick that right foot back, press into your feet, and bring it back up into your low lunge. And now hands down to the mat, step back into your table. From here, we'll take it into our downward dog. Root into your finger pads, hug in through the arms, tuck your toes under, glide your hips up and back. Walk out your dog, bend and straighten the knees. Rock yourself side to side or back and forth or whatever movement you like here. And then we'll bend the knees, crouch down, glide the hips up. Bend your knees and crouch down and then glide your hips up. One more time, bend your knees and crouch down. This time as you send your hips up to downward dog, send your right leg up, also three-legged dog. Bend that right knee, point it up towards the ceiling. Open through that hip and then re-extend your leg. Release that foot down to the mat. Bend your knees and crouch down. Send the left leg up. Three-legged dog. Press down into your hands, down into your finger pads. Root that right heel down towards the mat. Bend that left knee, point it up towards the ceiling, open through that hip. 
re-extend that leg out and release that foot down to the mat and then slowly walk yourself up to the top of your mat fold in forward fold uttanasana hands to the mat or grab elbows shake or nod your head rock your hips from side to side and then bring yourself to center take your hands to your hips press into your feet and lift yourself all the way up to stand palms come together at your heart and now reach your arms up soften your knees fold yourself in forward fold now lift your torso about halfway up come up to a flat back Come up onto your fingertips or press your fingers into your shins or into your thighs. Lift up the belly, lengthen out through the crown of the head. Soften your knees, fold in. Again, halfway lift to that flat back. And then soften the knees, fold back in. Once more, let's bring it halfway up. Soften your knees and fold in. Press into your feet, come all the way up to stand. Palms come together overhead and hands come back down to your heart. Reach your arms up, soften your knees, fold in. Halfway lift to your flat back. Soften the knees, plant your hands down on the mat and step yourself back to plank. Shoulders up over the wrists into the fingers lift up through the belly press out through your heels reach out through the crown of the head and then lower your knees down to the mat soften the elbows and slowly lower down pubic bone belly torso all the way down to the mat hug the elbows in press down into the tops of the feet down into the pubic bone down into your fingers and then lift your heart up for a baby cobra and then lower down tuck the toes press into the hands send your hips up and back downward dog step it back up to the top of your mat and then halfway lift Soften the knees, fold yourself back in, press into your feet, come all the way back up. Palms come together overhead and hands come back down to your heart. Reach your arms up, fold yourself into your forward fold. Halfway lift to your flat back. Plant your hands down to the mat, step yourself back to plank. Drop the knees down to the mat. Slowly lower it down, pubic bone, belly, torso. Either lift the heart up for baby cobra, stay here, or press into the hands and lift your heart a little bit higher for your full cobra. You could have a bigger little bend in the elbows here. You check in with your low back. If you feel any tweakiness in the low back, and lower yourself down a little bit. Release down to the mat, tuck the toes under, press into the hands, send your hips up and back, downward dog. Now crouch down, send the right leg up for a three-legged dog. This time we'll bend the right knee, bring it in towards the chest. You begin to shift yourself forward into a core plank and then step your right foot through to your right thumb. Turn and drop that left foot to the mat. Toes out to the side, soften both knees, press into the earth, lift up, open towards that long edge of the mat, bring it into a warrior two, bend that right knee. Straighten that left leg, open the arms out to the sides. And then hands back down to the mat, Step yourself back into plank. 
Lower the knees down. Lower yourself down to the belly. And then lift up the heart, baby cobra or fold cobra. Release down. Tuck the toes. Press into the hands. Send your hips up and back to downward dog. Crouch yourself down. Now send that left leg up for a three-legged dog. Bend that knee. Bring it forward into your core plank. Step that left foot through. Turn and drop the right foot to the mat. Toes out to the side. Bend the knees. Press down into the earth. Lift up and open towards that long edge of the mat. Bend that left knee. Open the arms up for your warrior two. Take hands back down to the mat. Step yourself back into your plank. Drop the knees. Lower it all the way down. Halfway up or all the way up into your full cobra and release. Tuck the toes, send the hips up and back. Step or hop it up top of your mat. Ragdoll forward fold, halfway lift. Fold yourself back in and then press into your feet. Lift all the way up, palms back together overhead. Hands back down to your heart. Reach up, fold down. Halfway up to your flat back. Hands to the mat, step it back to plank. Lower the knees, lower down to the belly. Lift it up, cobra or baby cobra. Lower yourself down. Tuck your toes, press into your fingers. Lift the hips up and back into your downward dog. Crouch down, left leg up this time, three-legged dog. Bend that left knee, come forward into your core plank and step that left foot through. Turn and drop that right foot again, soften the knees, press into the earth, lift up, open into your warrior two. Bending that left knee, rooting into the right heel, pinky toe side of that right foot. And then hands come back down to the mat. Step it back to plank. Drop the knees. Lower down. Cobra, baby cobra. And release back down. Tuck your toes. Press it up and back. Downward dog. Crouch it down. Tiger dog. Send your right leg up. Three-legged dog. Bend that right knee, draw it into your chest, come forward, core plank, step right foot through. Turn and drop the left foot, soften the knees, lift up and open, warrior two again. And then hands down to the mat, step it back to plank, drop the knees, lower down. Come back up into your cobra or low cobra and release. Tuck your toes. Send the hips up and back, downward dog. Step it up top of your mat, fold in, forward fold, halfway lift. Fold it back in, press into the earth, come all the way up, palms together overhead. Hands come back down to your heart. Reach your arms up, fold in. Halfway lift to your flat back, drop your hands down to the mat, step it back into your plank. Drop the knees, come down to the belly. Lift the heart, cobra, and release. Hook your toes. Press into the fingers, lift the hips up and back. Downward dog. And again, crouch it down and send that right leg up for a three-legged dog. 
and that right knee, bring it forward to your core plank, step that foot through, drop the left foot, bend the knees, press down into the earth, lift up, open. Warrior two. And then we'll add on a half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. You may want your blocks for this. So grab your blocks and just have them up at the top of the mat somewhere. Begin to take the weight into this right foot, right leg. Reach your right hand up towards the top of your mat, towards your block. Begin to step, hop, or slide the right foot in. Press down into that right, or I'm sorry, the left foot in. Press down into that right foot, and then begin to lift up that left leg. Roll the pelvis open as best you can. Left hand to that left hip. You can keep your gaze looking down at the mat. You could look out in front of you. You could look up. That is okay for you. You can keep that left hand on the hip or open that arm up. Find your breath, breathe, smile. <laughs> and then the left hand comes down to the hip. Begin to bend that right knee and slowly step that left foot back to the mat. Bend your right knee again. Open the arms back into your warrior two. Then hands back down to the mat. Step it back to your plank. Drop knees, lower down to the belly, and lift it up into your cobra. Release back down. Tuck the toes. Send the hips up, downward dog. Other side, bend your knees, left leg up, three-legged dog. Bend that left knee, bring it forward, core plank, step left foot through. Turn, drop right foot, bend the knees, lift up and open it towards that long edge of your mat, warrior two. And we'll take it into half moon pose on this side. So block if you want it, reach your fingers up towards the top of the mat, towards your block. Begin to take the weight forward into this left foot, left leg. Step, hop, slide the back foot in. Fingers to your block or the mat. Begin to press into that left foot, straighten that leg and open that right hip up. Right toes out to the side. Right hand to the hip where you reach the arm up. And then slowly bring it down, right hand to the hip. Begin to bend that left knee and slowly step that right foot back to the mat. Bend the left knee and come back into your warrior two. Arms wide. And then hands back down to the mat. Step it back to plank. Drop knees. Lower yourself all the way down. Lift up your heart, baby cobra or full cobra. And lower back down. Tuck the toes. Press your hips up and back into your downward dog. From your downward dog, begin to walk out your dog here, pedal your legs, bend straight in your knees. And then lower knees down to the mat, come back into child's pose, knees together or Knees wide towards the outer edges of your mat. Send your bum back to your heels. Release the forehead down. If you like, again, you could rock your hips from side to side. Yeah. 
and then slowly press yourself up. Drop over to one hip, swing your legs around. Plant the feet down, reach the arms forward, slowly lower yourself down to the mat. Find your way into Shavasana. Send the legs down the mat, arms out to the side. Let go of all effort. Just take these last few moments here to absorb, integrate the effects of your practice. Come back to your intention. Show yourself some kindness, some gentleness, some patience and love. And relax, let go. And begin to call yourself back. Invite movement back into your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Yawn. Sigh. Wiggle. Pandiculate. <laughs> so dogs and cats do. And when they get up from a sleep or a nap, Kind of looks like stretching, but it's really a contraction and release. Same thing that you do in the morning when you wake up and your body just naturally wants to move in certain ways. Relax. And now slowly find your way over on to one side. And pause here and slowly press yourself up. Awesome job. <laughs> Thank you much for, so much for sharing your practice with me today. With love and gratitude, namaste.